Good to see you again. Today, we are going to take fabrics and other pieces of natural and unnatural materials to make a texture board, but not just for the texture. We're going to be able to use these to create complete pieces of artwork and we'll have something to do a background in a very, very, very easy manner. So I'm ready. If you're ready, let's go. As promised, we are going to use texture to create an entire picture. You can call it artwork, paintings. It's not really a painting because we're going to be doing the rubbings. Now, I had the idea when I started collecting all of these that oh, I could use these for texture, for texture boards. And then when I realized I had like 35 of them, I decided I was going to make a texture board with the variation of these in order to create an entire piece of artwork. Some of them are stapled, some of them are taped. It's not a pretty board, but what it provides is incredible. This up here was a little thin. When we do this, we're going to think about how thick it is. It does move a little bit. These are really thick. And then after I did this, I thought, let's, make some out of fabric. Now this is very similar, but it also has a stretchier. And then of course lace has texture to it. So I'm going to show you quickly how I applied them. These will be easier than the um, plastic that kept wanting to go back in. Um, let's try to leave this little edge and see what happens. This is an experiment. You can actually do a rubbing beforehand nothing like the handy. Now I'm going to pull it tight. You want to pull it tight so when you're doing a rubbing it doesn't bunch up on you. And I'll take this and overlap it. Let's see. Do it this way. Ooh, shiny. This is materials that I have around the house. You can look around. Even hand towels have a texture to it. Your kitchen towels. Now overlapping it will give you a double design. I'm going to flip this over and give it one more. All right, there we go. There's one done. And I have two different, another materials. See how different they are? I wasn't sure about this one. It is a little quilted. And when I did test it out, it worked. And this is corduroy. This is usually this, the softest winter type. In fact, I like the uneven edges. So let's do the same. Let's staple this. I'm gonna do it in the corner and then I don't have to flip it over. Staplers or tape. Gluing will kind of compromise your design. Now this one's got a bump in it. So I'm gonna probably take that out. Let's take that out. Wiggle. Let's try it one more time. Probably because I'm going to run out. Nope. Good. And the corduroy. These match up pretty good. I'm going to do a landscape with you today, but when you're using these, you can use them for anything. Say you need one final piece of artwork and you want the background to be really amazing. You can do a rubbing like this and then go over it. All right, board number one, board number two, and board number three. This one, I'm going to show you, I did these with. If you can see, I had the bottom in the middle, and I did this beautiful landscape. And then I tried to do a beachscape with it. Let's put these here. And it was a little more difficult. Having the water come on shore was not very easy to do. But watch, if you take and you isolate this with a frame, it's a total different look. A frame makes the biggest difference. And then let's say you just want one piece of it. Let's move it around. Let's say you just want that. Once you frame something, it changes it completely. So here we go. Let's experiment with our cloth. You need paper that's 
not super thick because otherwise you will not get the raised design. And I'm going to look at this and I'm going to try, I got both at once. You can use more than one and you can turn them as you're doing it. Let's start out with a green bottom. Light colors first. This one I want to make more like a meadow. And I believe I'm going to just have flowers and a sky. All right, light colors. Now, if you look, you can see the staple, but that will just work in. Have your broken crayons ready. Choose your colors. And I'm going to use this, and I'll actually move this a little bit. Oh, oh totally different than what I thought. But this will make a really good flower area. So instead of going up there with this, since I want different textures, I'm going to slide it down and use a deeper green. This is kind of bumpy. Hmm. Let's get the sky in there right away. Get some light blue. Since this is lace, it will have a design or a pattern on it. And it kind of replicates clouds. Nice. Half the fun of doing this is seeing what comes up. What is it going to do? It's like a little treasure surprise. Look at that, it does. I'm gonna get, oh, test your colors. This is probably, no, it's blue. I was gonna say it's probably color. I'm gonna leave the inside of those clouds white. Nicely done. Oh, that came out really good. Since I'm not real fond with the bottom of this, I'm really fond of the top. I'm gonna to finish the top first. Finding me, uh, let's get a little turquoise in there. This is, I say it over and over again, it's experimenting, it's learning new things. It's trying things that you may never have tried before. I need a really dark, that's green. I would have thought that was blue. Miss test your colors up. So I'm gonna try to go just around these clouds. It's a cloudy day in the meadow. See how if you just go on the rims, you really can get that cloud design. I did not expect this. It is a very happy surprise. All right, since I'm not real fond of this, I'm gonna actually move this off to the side and I think we'll try these. I know this is going to be a straight pattern, so I'm going to aim for the bottom and we can use test your color. That's very light. That's very similar. Oh, this one's a little more like sand. Let's try this to start out with. Yes, straight lines. That's what I was hoping for. Each pattern is going to add to the other. Now I'm going to tip it a little bit so that it looks like the earth. Going in a circle helps pull up the textured design. A little bit up here. You can play with this when you're doing it. Get creative. So I've got the greenery, I've got the sky, I've got the earth. I am going to put a little bit of gray in here to tie these together. The more often you do this, the more you will see, sorry, I'm pressing really hard. My voice is showing it. See how turning it gives you more of a line going upwards? All right, now this should be really interesting. I'm going to aim in the middle with this and start to develop our flowered meadow, so to speak. So you're gonna be using pinks and yellows and other colors. I'm gonna have to push these off to the side, but I still wanna test them. I am a big fan of the flower color of yellow-orange. The light colors will not show the design, but watch when I throw some red in here. 
see how those designs come up. Ooh, flowers growing. Oh, I think a purple would look really good too. So you're creating a landscape by simply rubbing, being creative with your textured board that you create. Now I won't be able to find a purple, blue. I know I have a black. If I can't find a purple, I have my little box. Purple. I always keep what you need on hand. All right, so purple flowers. This is actually too big. Let's break it. What happens if it's too big is you will find that the edges make straight lines. I found that out. Do we need some dark green in there too? So we have our flowers. You can hear it kind of crunching. I can see the roundness of it because it's puffy on my paper. I'm actually gonna pull this up and use a white. White kind of blends or smushes all the colors together. So we need some deep green in here. Um, this is straight green. I, yikes, I think this is it. This is, both of these are deep. So what I wanna do is create, and I'm using this again. No, well, now I can see the design. Can you see it start to pull up? And then I'm gonna actually tip this sideways. I'm going to try to get creative here and get some, let's use this green. Let's see how this works. Direction. Your, your eyes are going to be following this direction now. I keep turning it. Creating interest. All right, so this is here. Let's just go in a circle so we can tie the horizon line. All right, we got a little bit of meadow going here. And actually, since I have this one, let's do all three. I'm gonna aim, I think I'll aim for this down here and get our last little bit of flowers in there. All right, here comes the orange. You can check, lift it up, check. And then we're gonna put the orange up top. These are going to look like just little dots of color because they are further from you. The farther away, the smaller it is, the closer. Ooh, I like that. And I'm turning this in all directions so that we just don't get one solid pattern. The sky may need a little something something. Let's turn this here. This right here should work out really well. I am going to actually though tip it. So I used all these colors. Turquoise. How about a pink? Let's give this guy a little pink. All right. here now that I put pink I need to put yellow and then we will be done I will show you with a frame how amazing even purple would look good up there but I'm gonna keep the same pattern all right bright yellow if I use bright yellow too much when it goes over the blue what's gonna happen to it yes it will turn green pick this says green on it Oh, well, a little green, can't hurt. Like I said, experiment, try different things. This gives it a little bit of sunlight. I'm trying to avoid making too much green, but since I have some green there, I'm gonna find that green on here again and roll it on the bottom, bookend it. All right, now that I've done all of this and I've created my texture boards, I can use these anytime for anything. 
doesn't matter what you use. I've seen people use the um, the packing bubbles, and that looks really good. But you don't get the the very the different variety of these. So let's see. Look at that. All it takes is a frame. You can move it around. See what works. Let's see about making it a little bit smaller. Where would I go? I'd probably go up here. That's the great thing about when you frame it, you can choose wherever you want to do it. So make your texture boards, look around the house, get permission if you're too young to take it yourself, and practice and play. You're gonna be shocked at how much fun.